This is a total beginner tutorial on texture paint requested by one of the viewers. Please leave a like and subscribe if you find it helpful and let's begin. As I said before this is an absolute beginner tutorial and we'll start out by adding a cube instead of using the default cube so shift A and select cube. If we go to UV editing workspace we can see that the cube is already unwrapped and ready. If you're using your own mesh, press U and choose Smart UV Project. Let's go back to Layout Workspace for simplicity and take a look at the material. It doesn't have any, so click on New to add one. Let's go to Texture Paint Workspace next. Now do not get confused about the material and the texture. We already have a material, but we do not have an image texture that we can paint on. So click on this plus button where it says No Textures to its left and choose Base Color. Let's name it cube and I'll stick with 1024, turn off alpha, and choose a color then click OK. You can see our object colored now. In order to see it on this left area as well, just choose cube from the drop down. We'll take a look at the palette first. I'm gonna delete whatever was here and click on this plus button for a new one. You can name your palette if you want, hover your mouse over a color and press S. It'll turn to a color picker and when you click on the color it will automatically be added to your palette. You can also choose a color from this color wheel and click on the plus button to add. Let's go to top view and try painting, press F for brush size. I'm gonna turn off pen pressure. Let's undo and look at symmetry. Turn X symmetry on and try painting. Undo that again and we'll look at stabilize stroke now. It needs getting used to because it feels laggy and slow, but I'm sure you'll find use for it sometime. Again, let's undo and save the texture file, cause you might lose everything if you don't. You'll see this asterisk mark next to image menu if you haven't saved your texture file. Always make sure you save your file. You don't want all your hard work down the drain. You can of course paint directly on this 2D area as well. If you don't see the same texture paint tools in this area for some reason, make sure you choose paint from this drop down. The last thing I want to show you is paint mask. Press control tab and choose edit mode. 3 for face select and select this top face. Now control tab to go back to texture paint and enable this paint mask button. I'm gonna try paint bucket this time. Choose a different color and click on the cube. You can see that only the face we've selected in edit mode got filled with the color we chose. Same goes for the brush tool as well. You cannot paint anywhere except the selected face. Hope this was a simple and easy to understand beginner tutorial for you, and thanks for watching.